Good morning, everyone. Happy, happy Monday. Hope you're all well and had a super weekend. Um, this month seems to just be flying by at the moment. Um, so let's have a look, see if we can get our first person here. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, let's have a look. There we go. And there we go. Let's press that. Send a Hi, Marie, it'll be you tomorrow. So hopefully you're all excited seeing you tomorrow. Right, okay, oh, there we go. Just need to move up, there we go. Can you see? Yes, is that any good? <laughs> cool. I think I'm very low down, aren't I? Yeah, just, to, that's all right. Shall a little bit open? more. <laughs> a bit more. Need a little booster cushion, that's what I'm sat on. <laughs> This sofa is That's very, better. very low. I've sunk right into it. That's better. I'm going a little bit further back. How's that? There we go. No, that's cool. That's lovely. That's lovely. Okay. So introduce yourself and tell us what you make and sell. Well, I'm Maggie and I'm an illustrator and I design greeting cards and um, notebooks, stationery, and I also put all my designs onto... Um, ceramics and bone china mugs and jugs and things like that fantastic and so why did you set up your business and how did you come up with your business name um i set up the business because i'd been i'd been hand painting tiles for it's about 13 or 14 years i had yep. my own business doing that doing bespoke tile design and i don't know i just i wanted to change i wanted a new challenge and i've always loved beautiful stationery and cards yep. and and so that just seemed like the natural direction to go towards and also with working with the tiles I'd now I'd got a kiln so that's when I started putting the, the designs onto the china as well and then I could fire that and so that brought in the other side of the business as well yep. and the name <laughs> Mumford yep. and Dog because <laughs> It was me and my dog, Boris, at the time, who was yeah. um, a lovely Border Terrier who isn't yeah. with us anymore, but right. I've now got a new Border Terrier called Eddie, so it's yeah. still Mumford and Dog. Excellent. And it also kind of reflected what I did as well, because a lot of the stuff that I do has got dogs on it. Yes. So. Yeah. Um, it's great to have you, but obviously everyone who knows me is um, one of my dreams is to one day own a border terrier. I absolutely, yeah. I absolutely adore them. You know when women get broody over over babies, I'm like that with border terriers, um, which I just absolutely love. So uh, I think the other yeah. day I was doing a chat and somebody walked down the road with one, and I kind of got sidetracked. But um, they are, and that's what's lovely because you take the design of of the of the border terrier and put it into all of your art don't you that you make i do yeah which, which is lovely hence the name so yes so whereabouts um are you based and where where is your sort of workspace that you create and come up with ideas um i'm based in Oxshot, which is yep. a little village in surrey uh so not too far from dorking yeah um and i've got a studio at the end of the garden which is just fantastic so i just wander down to the end of the garden and go into the completely different atmosphere somewhere sure. where I can just go and paint and Eddie usually trots in behind me and <laughs> so yeah it's perfect it's Mumford and Dog. Yeah exactly your own little space it's it's so many people have got that where they can just you know to the end of the garden or that room and they can just switch off from the outside <laughs> world uh, and be creative which is really quite important isn't it? It is, yeah, and it's looking out onto the garden and you've got the birds and squirrels. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's a great, great space. Yeah. So have you a favourite item to create and why have you chosen that? I know this is hard, this question sometimes. Um, yeah, it's usually the last thing I've done, but, yeah. but the notebooks, because I've been wanting to do notebooks for quite sure. a long time. Um, so I brought out a few designs just before Christmas and it's... That's Eddie. Oh, oh, wow. In a bow tie as well. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. He's per perfect for you. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, probably the, the notebooks, I think. Yes. Cool. I mean, there's a lot of that at the moment with people with notebooks, isn't it? I mean, I'm obsessed with, you know, writing things down and getting things out of my yeah. head. I'm, you know, it, it's great on a computer, but I also, I do 
enjoy writing. I don't know, you know, and you know, the different coloured pens when you're doing things. It's really nice to to still write, isn't it? I think it's probably a dying breed as people get older. They so rely on their, um, you know, their phones and you know, text messaging. Where, um, yeah, Rob's saying I can hear us shopping already. Um, and it's really nice to write down. And um, yeah, I like the, the little uh, with the bow tie because we we do bow ties for the dogs. I mean, which I mean, sometimes I think they're more popular with the dogs than they are with the human beings. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to come and have a look at those. Yeah, they're really yeah really lovely actually because they they just go over the collar and they just look. He, yeah, he looked really cool. Uh, we did do a photo shoot one time. It was in Denby's and we had um, Ian from Hill House Farm has a dog called Ace. So he was our. Um, our model dog and he was such a character one of his favorite things that he liked to eat was carrots yes <laughs> yeah it's eddie great. likes carrots yeah it's weird isn't it it's great um so as you know we have an ethos about customer service about being friendly creative and unique is there a kind of an ethos or saying that you kind of that you use or stick with yeah i mean customer service is just yeah. vital that's top of the list uh, yeah. and especially now people buying online the first thing you do is look at reviews and yeah. feedback and reviews is just so you've got to be kind of top of your game yeah um and the other the other thing is the saying i have that when i'm working on something and i'm i'm not sure about it or and i'm adding a little bit and a bit more and and then i say to myself don't don't stop till you're proud yeah and that's my kind of because sometimes you have things and they're out there and you think, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not sure about that, not my favourite. So you just just keep going till you're proud and then, you know, you finish. So, yeah. I'll yeah. That. There we go. Um, it's funny, actually, I just thought, because um, with the summer event, we, what we do is we have like a playlist of music. We do it with the Christmas. Mm -hmm. And so I might put that, there's the, the <laughs> um, M people, what have you done today to make you proud? I'm going to put that one, <laughs> that one's there for you, okay? I'm going to put that okay, on the, I'll on the playlist for you. What have you done to make you proud? Um, <laughs> so um, what are your goals and dreams for this year, would you say? Um, like a lot of people doing live events, it'll just be yeah. so nice to be out there again and talking yeah. to people and getting feedback and um so that's a kind of priority which yep. is starting with you yeah and i'd like to get a few more stockists under my belt as well sure. that would be good yeah and i'm also wondering and now i'm saying it out loud i might have to doing <laughs> some greeting card workshops okay because yeah i've kind of gone back to right back to the beginning of making handmade cards and sure. i was given a um a hand embossing kit so you know when you do the stamping then the hand embossing yep. and i'm absolutely obsessed with that and it's just it's just such a lovely thing to do when you get so absorbed with it so good mental health as well yeah um, definitely definitely yes yeah, so, yep sorry yeah so i was just toying with that idea because later in the year when we can all go back to that and actually being in the same room as people so that would be good yeah and it's really you're saying that the workshops i think more than anything it's just that of just getting people together isn't it that you can yeah. then create something and you know if you're making your own christmas cards and you've made them i think i think people appreciate that more that you've put that love into it than just popping to a shop and buying something that kind of everyone else buys isn't it yeah and just just sending anything that's either handmade and handwritten it's just there's so much thought put into it rather than exactly. like you say just sending an email to somebody exactly and yeah. um, one thing as well just going back to what you said is is really important for anyone that's watching any of these videos if you have bought something of anyone go back and put a review because that really does you know if you're if it's um on their on their etsy or their shop or it's just to put something <clears> onto <throat> their onto their um facebook page or their website just if you if you've enjoyed it it really, really, you know, makes us really happy to receive that. Um, we, the other day, on our Dapper and Suave, Sally, who, Luna and Elaine, had put a beautiful five-star review about us, which was just lovely. And it just really brightened our day up. And it's one of those things that, you know, if you have received something from somebody and you get that, you know, that reminder to, to write a review, write it, because it does yeah. really make us happy, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it does. And, and I always do. I always leave yeah. a review. So, yes. Yeah, it is. It's really important. And it does. It makes you feel great. 
and there's there's usually a story behind it as well yes you know, why somebody's bought something or who it's for and and that's really interesting actually hearing other people's stories and why yeah. they're as well so yeah and it's almost you can tell that quick story in the review can't you and it's wow yeah. and you know it's really kind of quite important of how you've you that item you bought there there might be a story in it and it's nice to share those stories with other people when they're looking to buy from you that see yeah. that with you and it makes it more oh wow you know as we are human beings it makes it more that we are you know we're not when with the cards we're not clintons we're not wh smith we are no. independent businesses so yeah <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe Smith. Whenever you go in there, it's you know, do you want chocolate? No, you're, all this stuff they throw you that you want. <laughs> at the tail. It's just like no, I just want this, and I want to get out of here. <laughs> um, so, um, who would you say is your support network? Oh well, my husband is yeah. just fantastic. He's a yeah. huge support. He's yeah. the most patient man on the planet. Which is just, <laughs> well, he's he's just wonderful and. He also, he works in publishing, he's a designer, yes. and so he's fantastic at Photoshop and Illustrator, and yeah. I'm a bit of a kind of tech numpty, so I am just do everything by hand, everything yeah. is watercolour or kind of crayons, or, so then I just kind of present him with a drawing and say, we need to make <laughs> this into a card, so, which he does, and, <laughs> and I've had him at home the last year as well, yes. rather than in the office, so he's... <laughs> <laughs> there immediately to uh, kind of call upon so he's great yes and yeah friends and family and I've got a very good friend Paula who's great who's yep. also in publishing and she's she's got extremely high standards so everything I do has to pass the Paula test as well That's so <laughs> I know if she thinks it's okay it's okay yeah. And just, yeah, generally friends who buy from me you know that's yep. great support to my sister she's yeah, she's a good support. So yeah, yeah. And uh, the, do you hire him out, the husband? It is really, <laughs> really, it's really lovely as well because um, you know, doing these events, I, I get to um, you know, the husbands, you sort of see them, and there they are. They're they're helping the wives or the partners, whoever it might be. And yeah. it's really lovely. And even yesterday we were on a walk, and I had this crazy woman shouting at me, and it was actually Emma Fuller from Velvet Fig, who um who has done cakes and whatever, and it's her husband. And we, 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 you know, kind of know him from the events of that chat when you see them at the beginning, helping, you know, set up the stalls, and you see them yeah. at the end. And it's all about that support as well, that you see it and how proud they are of, you know, they kind of leave them to it. The kids are sort of helping and they go off and come back. And it's yeah. it's just lovely that seeing those, those people. So a shout out to all the people that, you know, support you as yeah. well, you know, individuals, isn't it? It's, it's well, we need yeah. them. You'll, you'll meet him. He'll be there yeah. looking all the stuff in. <laughs> yeah. And out to go. Um, so what events are you doing with Curated by Dapper as well? I'm doing the June one, yep. which I'm really looking forward to. Fantastic. Um, and November, which yes. is great in time yep. of Christmas. So oh. both perfect timing. And you've got that chance as well, haven't you, by doing two to sort of, you know, suss out and see whatever. And then sort of like when you're back later in the year, if there are things that people have asked for and it's also you know ask getting a feedback from a lot of people if there's a few people that say oh what about this and that then whatever they'll yeah. be the odd person that will say the crazy craziest thing i mean you know we've had it as da francois that you know, yeah. <laughs> one time why don't we make uh, ladies garters we're like okay <laughs> you know like for the wedding when they whatever but i don't think anyone really does that anymore it's like but we thought that's not really a dapper and suave uh ladies garters is it <laughs> no, what, what i get is because i've got all this range with lots of different dog breeds yes but there's always somebody who wants oh. a breed i haven't haven't yeah. got and they yeah. rush and need to expand the range but yeah yeah and it's funny, isn't it, with the dogs, and then you've got, like, with Jez coming up, this de the design of different villages and that, and she hasn't done the Dorking one. And we were talking yeah. about yesterday in the car, thinking, oh, I wonder what she'll come up with. Because, you know, Dorking, you've got the Cocker, you've got the Fox Hill. Yeah. So, um, but I'm sure there'll be people, oh, what about this? What about that? So, um, it'll be, yeah, be good, good to see what she does. Um, another thing I just wanted to say, just because I just had an email from somebody who's a, who is a, um, a stallholder, which is fine, but she asked about, June's event if it was not ticketed and um, I have to sort of shout it from the top of the roof the reason that we're doing June and we're doing a bigger event is because obviously we're using stage this is a ticket event we are still working with the COVID regulated guidelines that we use 
on the last two events. So it's a ticketed event. You need to buy your tickets. If you haven't got a ticket, you won't be able to come in as such because obviously there. So I just want to make sure that everyone is aware of that because I was a bit shocked earlier because I put it on all of the Instagram social media stuff that go out. So it is a ticket event. So any guys that are promoting it, like yourself as well, Maggie, make sure that everyone knows about that they have to book a ticket to come along and see you. Just want to make sure everyone yes. was aware of that. <laughs> yeah, I have been telling people that. Yeah. And also, just because it's ticketed, you don't have to buy it. It is free to get in as well. Yeah. So, yeah, and, I've been saying and that. Also, with that as well, anyone that does buy a ticket, and if you have to cancel, please, 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 can contact Dorking Halls on the day. They're open at 10 o'clock on the day and you can ring them up and cancel your ticket to allow others. Last year at Christmas, we had um, a lot of people, 75% uh, of the people turned up, but also 25 didn't. Um, we had people that booked tickets, you know, eight tickets and things like that. We got, obviously, we, we did have to turn away about 60 or people um, because where it was ticketed, they, Dorking Halls were expecting those people to arrive. So I am gonna be yeah. sort of making sure people are aware of that if you can't, you know, you can cancel your ticket. So yeah, just so everyone is aware of that. So there we go. Um, all the ticket. And just the last question, why did you um, choose to work with us? Well, it was odd actually. Well, not odd, but <laughs> I, I, no, I was making my list for the next day. This is a few weeks ago. Yeah. And I'd been following you on Instagram and I put on my list, contact Dapper and Suave about doing some of their events went to bed, got up the next morning, and I had a message from you saying wow. would you be interested in doing an event. So um so that that was serendipity, I think. So yeah. and also actually another of my sayings I have is um leap and the net will appear. Yeah. And quite often, especially doing events, you know, you're always advised, go and see it first, check it out first and and I hadn't been to any of yours yeah. and and I thought, no, I'm going to leap and the net will appear um, yeah. and just go for it, which I'm yes. glad I did because now you're completely sold out, aren't you, for all yep. of the events. All of the events, yeah. Yeah, yes. so if yeah. I hadn't jumped and thought, well, I'm, I'm just going to do it anyway, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be in there at all. So I'm, yeah. I'm pleased I mean, with that. And that, that's what's great, as in, you know, this year we 70 businesses we're working with and 40 40 of them are brand new, which is just amazing. Even that this weekend, we've we've had emails popping up. Can we get involved? Can we get involved? You know, we are full. Um, and just, you know, that thing of making sure because, you know, we need to make sure we've got the variety and things like that. So, yeah. you know, and there's always, you know, there's always, um, you know, next year and things like that. But also what I'm saying to these people is as well is come along to the events and, you know, and all, you know, let me know when you're there. We can have a chat as well. I want to make sure as well that we've got the right mix of people as well. I think that's that's really, really important to understand what Curated is about. It's a lot different yeah. than it was before, as in handpicked. It's a lot, lot different now. And I, I'm working on lots to make sure that it's well polished. And, and you know, we're, we're getting featured in some great magazines um, that, we're, that you'll see. I mean, in the next couple of... In the next couple of months, you're, it'll be in lots of magazines and bits, so you can see what we're doing. Um, yes. And Emma there, Emma, my friend, Silver by the Button, you're in safe hands. We, we, we caught up yesterday for a quick chat. It was nearly three hours chatting, which was lovely. <laughs> so, um, uh, which was really great. So, really, really nice to, nice to see you today. And Thank really you. looking forward to seeing you in June, like everyone else I am as well. And tomorrow, we are back here again with Marie from Teal Creative. So I'm looking forward to seeing her. Um, and yeah, so um, all of um, Maggie's details, you can, this will go out onto um, Instagram, this video, and then onto Facebook, and then onto our YouTube channel. So you can watch it later. That's what I do. I'll watch it later on. And, uh, and, and you know, it's nice to watch it and, you know, see what's going on. It's a shame, like I say, these messages that pop up, you can't see them when they're I gone. Know. But, no, there's some really, really lovely messages there. So um, lots and lots of people there. So yeah. Um, great. Uh, enjoy your day. It looks like the sunshine's gone once again. It's it, I've got the wrong neck on. It's we were out on a walk yesterday, not knowing what to wear, and it, it was sort of like wrong necks and whatever. And then the sun come out. Then it was cold. It was just crazy. I know, it's yeah, 
I know. I just want the sunshine. I want the sun. I, I was supposed to get out in the garden at the weekend, and it was it was so cold. I didn't bother. So I'm going to have to make some time this week to do that because I've got lots of vegetables to go out. Anyway, great stuff, and um, see okay. you all tomorrow. Um, enjoy your holiday as well because you're down in Devon at the moment, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, which is lovely. Which is really nice to just to get away from it all, isn't it? So uh, cool. Usual. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You take care. Lovely to speak to you. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.